Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be comparing JavaScript and Python to figure out which one is the best choice for you in 2024. The reason that we're comparing these two languages specifically is because I believe that both Python and JavaScript are both really great first languages for anybody to start with. Although they share many similarities in their simplicity, they have some significant differences that can make one a much better choice for you than the other. So in this video, we're gonna cover the unique strengths and use cases for both Python and JavaScript. We're gonna compare the job market for both of these languages and determine which which language is the best fit for you based on your needs and what you're interested in. All right, so first up, let's talk about what these languages are used for, starting with Python. And one of its main use cases, especially currently, is machine learning and AI. Because Python has a ton of extensive libraries like NumPy and TensorFlow that make it perfect for these kinds of tasks. And I think that a lot of data scientists and AI developers lean towards Python just because of how simple the syntax is and its ability to deal with complex math equations thanks to all of the libraries that it has. It really allows the developers to focus on the problem rather than fiddling with the programming. So Python syntax is very simple, which means you could really just spin up scripts very easily and quickly test ideas that you have. This allows for rapid feedback cycles, which is really important with how fast paced AI is. So if you have to spend months getting set up in a dev environment and getting the build systems right using a different language, then you would have definitely been behind the competition by a long shot, especially since new AI apps are coming out every week. Python's also great for automation. And if you see any DIY home projects online that you think are pretty cool and they may use a Raspberry Pi or something like that, or even simple robotics, a lot of those are using Python as well. And some of them are possibly using lower level languages like C or C++, but Python is what a lot of DIY people use for the same reasons that developers like it because it's just easy to get started with and the syntax is very similar to just plain English. Python is also great for backend development and it enables developers to build scalable and maintainable servers that can support rather large applications. Some examples of giant companies that are using Python as their backend include Instagram, Spotify, Netflix, and Dropbox. And a lot of them are using it to power their AI recommendation engines because again, it's great for AI and things like that. And also probably file storage manipulation for Dropbox. So if you're looking to get into web development, but you're more interested in the inner workings and the backend, then Python is a great fit for that as well. And if you're interested in science and creating programs around science, that's also where Python shines because it has a ton of libraries for things like physics, biology, and math with libraries like SciPy and SimPy that allow you to create very good simulations of very complex systems. JavaScript, on the other hand, was originally created to make websites more interactive, and it still does this today. Gone are the days of static websites that didn't do anything, and with the help of frameworks like React, Angular, and Vue, it's easier than ever to build reusable components for interactive web apps. But JavaScript's use cases have expanded way beyond just simple websites, and it's now a popular choice for things like mobile app development with frameworks like React Native and Ionic, and this allows developers to use their existing JavaScript experience with other platforms like iOS and Android without needing to learn a language for both of those platforms like you used to do. And JavaScript has also made its way to desktop apps as well with the help of Electron. And some really big apps are using it like Spotify, Slack, Discord, and VS Code. Electron sometimes gets some hate a lot of the time actually because for each instance of an Electron app, it spins up its own instance of Chrome, which leads to higher RAM usage and larger package sizes. However, I don't really think that's that big of a drawback considering how easily it allows developers to transition to an entirely new platform. And that's why a lot of these big companies actually make that decision. They already have a team of developers that made a web app. They're then able to use that same team to build the desktop version. Whereas in the past, they might've had to hire an entire new team specifically for desktop. And then you have to worry about keeping both teams in sync and making sure that the UI looks very similar. But now you can literally just copy and paste components from the web to the desktop. And they usually work pretty well once you get the core application set up properly. And then on the server side, JavaScript is also great with the help of Express and Node.js, which makes it a complete full stack and multi-platform programming language. So basically, if you're interested in making anything that involves using any type of user interface, whether it's mobile, desktop, or just the web, then you really can't go wrong with JavaScript. And it's probably the best choice for something like that. If we're looking at the job market for both of these languages in 2024, the demand for Python and JavaScript skills still remains very strong. With the rapid increase of AI-based applications, both of these languages are currently skyrocketing. So you can't go wrong with either of them. But since we're speaking about AI, that also brings up that
that topic where what happens with the impact of AI and will that affect future job opportunities? Although AI is transforming the tech landscape, it's actually currently creating a bunch of new opportunities for programming. And because all these apps are showing up, Python developers with AI and machine learning experience are in very high demand right now. JavaScript is also in high demand because all of these AI backends need front ends to power the user interface. So either one is going to be a pretty good choice, maybe leaning more towards Python currently because I feel like there's less AI developers and that's growing really rapidly. So there's a more of a supply and demand benefit to learning Python, whereas JavaScript has been really popular for a much longer time and a lot of companies are doing layoffs. So there's going to be much more competition on the JavaScript side. That is something you might want to keep an eye out for while you're searching for job sites like Indeed. Just try to get a feel for how competitive each job is for the type of things that you're looking for. But I would rather you choose a language based on what you're interested in and don't worry too much about the market because once you learn a language, you can easily switch to another. And if you're interested in making web apps, don't let the market change you or force you to become an AI expert and vice versa. And the job opportunities really do change every two to three years. So choose one that you're interested in because that's only going to be even more true with all the fast paced movement of AI. We don't know what the future is going to be like. So just learn what you're interested in and try to learn high level concepts. And that will be what can take you into future jobs going forward. But passion and interest is what gets you the skills in the first place. All right. So now how do you actually choose between Python and JavaScript? I feel like I've talked about it a little bit already, so you could kind of figure it out for yourself. But the key is to align your choice with your interests and career goals. So if you're passionate about data analytics, machine learning, AI, or automating tasks, then Python is going to be a great choice for you. It has all of the libraries and frameworks that are well suited for all of that. On the flip side, if you're excited about building interactive websites, web apps, mobile apps, desktop apps, or the back end for websites, JavaScript can do all of those. So for me personally, even though my interests lean kind of more towards AI, I still think that I would actually choose JavaScript just because I like making things that people can use and interact with. One thing that I will mention is that JavaScript does have a steeper learning curve in terms of the software that you need to use to create applications. And this might not make sense if you're just a beginner and you're going through tutorials in little sandboxes, but when you're learning JavaScript, you're also learning about the entire ecosystem of tools that are available to you. And when you start to build apps, it gets overwhelming. Like which framework should you use? Should you use Next, Vue, Angular, Svelte? None of them. And then for your database, which one should you use? Should you use Postgres, Neon, Amazon, Vercel? So JavaScript is just a much larger onion with many layers. And Python is a little bit simpler in that case. So if you want something that's simpler to get started with and you don't have the burning desire to make web applications, then Python would be a much simpler sandbox for you to play around in and learn your programming skills that way. And you won't be too bogged down with decisions on what stuff you should use to build your programs with. In the description, I'm going to put a list of the best resources to learn either Python or JavaScript. So if you decide to choose either one, there will be a little roadmap down below for what you should learn first. And for some reason, if you're interested in learning what my top five programming languages are, then that video is here. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.